Please, if you're reading this, you have to help me. You have to get me out of here. Go to my apartment. You'll find me in my apartment. I'm inside. I'm trapped in this fucking headset with these haptic sensors all over my body. There's no way of getting out. It feels like they put super glue on the inside of my gloves and the boots. Maybe there's some far more high-tech mechanism at play here. But either way, I'm a prisoner inside of this VR rig. How did I get here? It all started when I woke up and I noticed something strange on my phone. It was a PayPal notification which read, Metaverse Inc., USD $33.52. My brain was still a bit foggy from sleep. I tried to remember what I could have charged to my PayPal account for that amount. I only had a few direct withdrawals set up to PayPal since most of them went to my credit card. Racking up my brain, I couldn't think of anything that would fit the bill, so I, I did what anyone else would do. I googled the word Metaverse. I looked to see what the company was before filing a dispute claim. It sounded familiar. And immediately I understood why. If not for the fact that it was half asleep, I, I would have realized it right away. Hey, there was that, that Facebook metaverse, right? The 3D VR creation, which was had it had a virtual utopia where people could just go, they shop, socialize, work, play, do whatever else the corporation overlords decided. But I never signed up for the metaverse. In fact, I, I didn't even own a VR. This thing didn't sit right with me, especially since I'd heard recently that the metaverse was hemorrhaging cash. The whole operation was failing miserably. The article I'd read about 10 billion in losses while there were only a minuscule number of users. There's no way that I'd sign up for that service. I didn't even use Facebook. So it didn't seem like there was any chance of an accidental purchase. My vivid imagination pictured a nefarious plan at Facebook to use my Pixel phone's Google Play to order the service without my knowledge. I requested a refund through PayPal, saying I'd never received the service or product, and since there was no option for I didn't order this shit. But then I went to Twitter to begin to make my aggravation known to the world. I have a couple thousand followers, nothing too outrageous, and most of my tweets get one or two likes, but when I told everyone about this, they totally lost their minds. People I'd never spoke to before started retweeting, liking, commenting immediately. So this is how they're making back all their lost money, using Google Pay data to subscribe to their shitty service, one that no one wants? Ha, <laughs> said one reply. LOL, I hope you get refunded. That's a pretty sneaky way to get people to pay for the metaverse. I heard they weren't doing well, but this is ridiculous, another person commented. The tweet was getting far more traction than my usual ones, but then it was suddenly removed. I received no reason from Twitter, and when I tried to repost it again, nothing happened. Every time I hit send, it seemed like it went through, but when I went to check the tweet, it had vanished again. Annoyed, I was about to post my experience on Instagram or Reddit when I received an email from Metaverse Inc. customer service. Subject, incidental charge. I opened the email and was surprised to find that it was a customer service manager at Metaverse Reading the content of the email, I began to feel a strange knot growing in my belly. It felt like, like someone was pouring cement down my gullet and it was hardening and drying in my gut, getting heavier and heavier by the second. Dear Mr. Group, the email read, We at Metaverse were displeased to hear that you noticed the recent charge you incurred in our behalf. Rest assured that we are looking into the matter and will provide you with a prompt refund. As a token of our apology, please allow us to offer you an additional gift. We noticed in your tweet that you said you didn't even own a VR. Well, we would like to remedy that situation. VR is a very fun and even therapeutic recreational experience. It is enjoyed by many people, as is the metaverse. Despite your assertion that it is a wallet-fucking cartoon world built on lies for enjoyment of idiots. As such, we would like to afford you with the opportunity to experience it. The metaverse should be enjoyed by all, and one day it will be. For you, we would like to provide a free HTC headset with haptic bodysuit for your use. Of course, it will be your decision should you wish to participate in the metaverse, but we hope that you will give it a shot. Thank you sincerely for bringing the situation to our attention. Sincerely, the metaverse team. After reading the email again, I read it three more times. Are they serious? Is this a prank? A joke? Viral marketing? What the fuck's going on? I was suddenly very scared. 
It occurred to me that I've been talking shit publicly about one of the world's largest and most powerful corporations. They could easily have me killed or silenced. They could have probably wiped my entire life if they wanted to. I had no doubt they could destroy my career in the tech industry and they could make my YouTube channel vanish into the world of shadow band trash. The doorbell rang and a chill ran up my spine. Is that them? Are they here? Are they, are they at my front door? Come on, no, that's ridiculous. Still, my legs were trembling when I got up and walked to the front door. I opened it and my heart skipped a beat. Jumping backwards, I yelped in fear as a large drone helicopter was hovering just overhead. For a second, I thought that it would charge forward, slicing my neck with its razor-sharp robot-controlled rotor blades, but instead, a screen lit up on the front of it showing a green smiley face. Thank you for choosing the Metaverse, it said in a robotic voice. Then it took off into the air, disappearing into the clouds. The fuck was that? I asked no one in particular. Then looked down to see there was a large package on my doorstep. I picked it up with a growing feeling of anxiety, bringing it inside. After a moment of deliberation, I decided to open it. This was clearly the gift promised by the Metaverse people, but I hadn't expected it to arrive so quickly. Normally, corporations were slow to respond, taking weeks to send things by mail, but this had arrived within a few hours of my tweet. Everything about this was disturbing, and giving me a dystopian sort of vibe that I didn't like. Still, I unboxed it and looked inside, finding a gleaming HTC VR rig, with all the state-of-the-art haptic technology to go along with it. I mean, sure, I'd never owned any of this stuff, but I'd definitely researched it. I was salivating at the opportunity to one day own a VR rig, but I'd never been able to afford one, especially not one like this, one which cost thousands of dollars. A handwritten card was inside the box as well, which I opened and read. Please enjoy, with our sincere apologies, the Metaverse team. It still didn't make sense to me how they could have done all this with such a short period of time, but then again, I heard that Google was always listening. So maybe this was just further proof. Despite my misgivings, I decided to set up the VR rig. Got it all hooked up and powered it on. There was even an entire haptic bodysuit, I realized, to go along with the gloves and boots. Trying on the outfit, I noticed that it fit perfectly, as if it had been tailored to my specific dimensions. I put the gloves on and the footwear next. With all the haptics on, I took a deep, unsteady breath and put the VR goggles on my head, tightening the straps around my chin. A moment after I put it on, my entire field of vision became infused with imagery. After a few seconds of looking around, I understood where I was. I was in the metaverse. I mean, surprisingly, it was pretty impressive. At least to someone who'd never really used VR before. Wow, I said to myself, glancing around. Yeah, wow, a woman's voice said, as I saw a cartoonish lady coming around a corner. She had raven black hair and a scowl etched on her face. Do you have any idea how much effort it takes to create a place like this? She said approaching me quickly, and you go on Twitter and you shit all over it. A second later, she was practically on top of me, and then she threw a punch hard at my gut. The impact in my midsection caught me completely off guard. It reminded me of being back in elementary school when a bully would beat the shit out of me during recess and knock the wind out of me. This was, this was just like that, except a hundred times worse. I was still recovering my breath and on the ground on my hands and knees with no memory of how I got there. When she kicked me in the ribs... The blow was so powerful through the haptic bodysuit that it sent me flying, tumbling sideways in a barrel roll. My real body crashed into my entertainment unit, smashing my television and shattering broken glass everywhere. It dug into my flesh, and I felt blood filling the suit in places. Do you have any idea how hard we worked, only to find our efforts mocked? The next kick was to the back of my knee, and I heard it break in a bone-shattering pop. I screamed so loud that the neighbors must have heard me, unless all of their Google Home devices malfunctioned at the same instant, playing a brief blast of loud music and drowning out my screams. The idea occurred to me after the woman left me half-conscious in a pool of my own blood, spitting out teeth and crying in pain. I hope you enjoy this place we made for ungrateful people like you, was the last thing the woman said as her avatar vanished. Because you're going to spend a long, long time here. She was right. I tried to take off the VR goggles, but they were completely sealed onto my face. Same with the gloves, boots, and haptic bodysuit. I'm a prisoner inside the virtual reality getup, 
while one after another the Metaverse employees file in to kick the living shit out of me in every way possible, taking out their frustrations on me. I'm not sure how long it's been. I'm not even sure if this is getting out there. I eventually escaped from that section of the VR world and found this old-school computer in an internet cafe in the Metaverse. After trying every avenue on it, attempting to contact help from the other side world via Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, I gave up and went on Reddit, hoping to kill some time. And this subreddit popped up on my feed, and I noticed it's filled with other experiences from people like me, people who had things that aren't normal happen to them. Maybe this post will just blend in, but maybe, just maybe, someone else will notice it. I'm not holding out on hope for a rescue. At this point, I just want to warn you all. If you notice a change on your credit card, PayPal, or bank account, which says it's from Metaverse Inc., don't dispute it. Whatever you do, don't tweet about it or complain on Facebook or Instagram about it. Just quietly pay it. And every charge that follows. Just trust me. The alternative is much, much worse. Hey there kids, it's me, Mr. Creepypasta, and I wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching tonight's video or listening to tonight's episode of the podcast. And if you're not listening to tonight's episode of the podcast, then you can on Spotify or other places that people listen to podcasts because I only use Spotify. And if you're not watching tonight's video, then you can on YouTube and nowhere else, because that's the only place I upload videos. And if you've done both of those things, then I want to say thank you for subscribing, and clicking that like button, and leaving a comment that's nice and friendly, that I can respond to and give a little heart to. A big thank you to Jordan Alexander Sanchez, Jacob Fenske, Stephanie Butler, Jordan Humble, Chance Burnett, Dana Kraus, Brimstone Pandemonium, Kyle Tuna, William Wellington, Emma, Brenna Crow, Lakeda Canizos, Smiley the Psychotic, Dante Kincaid, Simba's Bloody Mojo, Mephistopheles, Curse Pox Primark, Bastion Beefcake, M, Jesus Corneo, Yargul, Carnival, Amber Clark, Jay Kearns, Dakota Lane Whetstone, Himbo Jerry, Crusader Chocobo, Adam Arias, Estebean, Nick Cole, Our Minsect Time, Xyla Bones, Angelus, Seclude, Salty Surprise, Love It a Galvin, That Creepy Check, Red Shadow Cat, Turtle Man, Paralinian, Mr. Marcus Blitz, Ica Limchok, Dirty Diver 030, Matt Bach, Voice of Sand, Spike Mount, Melted Lake, Tolly Sue, William King, Darth Miver, Sashi Sasaku, Crokinut 509, Cricket, Ready Kruger, Lisa Cottrell, Hades Nephew, Acid System, Mog, Kiwi the Sloth, Fester's Lampshade, Nico Kyle, The Ginger Bros, Aaron Stormcrow, Daniel Polson, and Corey Kenshin. To all of you guys, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for being a huge support to me. Thank you to everybody who's in the description down below, and thank you to everyone who can even support $1 just on Patreon to help keep the content coming. 